Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm just so like, I'm so all over the place today. For today's video, we are going to be playing with these little Morphe palettes. Well, not little, they're kind of big. Um, Morphe, you guys know how I feel about Morphe. Their brushes are pretty much all that I use on my face. I have a couple Sigma brushes thrown in, but the majority of my makeup brushes are Morphe and I have a ton of them. These palettes, the 35T and the 35O, are their two, I think they're the two most recent, and I feel like these are the hottest ones right now that everybody's talking about, everybody's using them, everyone's doing swatches. Um, I just got the 35O yesterday, oh, and the eye look that I have on right now is using the 35O. I did film this, so I will link it down below if you guys have not seen it. It should be up. I think I was going to put the makeup first and then this review second. Now I did put a picture on Instagram of these two palettes side by side, but you guys still wanted me to do a video like swatching them and just kind of talking about them, so that is why I am here. Now these larger palettes like this, whenever I used to see these, I would be so turned off because I just felt like they were never good quality. I had a couple from Coastal Scents and no offense to Coastal Scents, like I think they're a great brand, but their larger palettes like this, they just weren't my favorite. So whenever I would see these, I was like, oh, nope, don't want it, they're not gonna be good. And then Morphe started doing them. I probably have seven or eight of these large palettes and every single one that I have from Morphe is just the best. Like they're pigmented, they blend really, really well, the colors are just, I can't. I can't. I cannot. So I'm going to start with the 35-0, you guys. Oh, right? It's so pretty. It's like the heavens have opened up. Now, I'm usually a cool eyeshadow girl. I like purples and taupes. But recently, I would say like the past month to two months, I've really been getting into warm, these like warm oranges and berries and pinks. I just think they look so pretty on. This eye look that I have on, it really is making me happy. I don't know if it's the tan with like the warm, I don't know what it is, but it's working for me. So this is what the palette looks like. This retails for $19.99, so basically 20 bucks. This is out of stock right now on Morphe's website. I know, I'm sorry, but it will be back in stock, so just keep an eye on Morphe's social media so that you guys know when it comes back in stock. And I have a Morphe code, it's YWP. You get 10% off. It is an affiliate code, so if you use it, I do get a commission, just so you guys know that. But this video is not sponsored. Um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to swatch some of these for you and just kind of show you some of my favorites. Now, I'm not going to swatch all of them, but at the end of the video, I will pop in a picture of every single shade swatched somewhere on my body so you guys can like just screenshot it or whatever you want to do with it so that you have it. So first and foremost, this shade right here, this is what I have on my lid. As soon as I opened this palette, I was drawn to this color. It is, it is incredible. Like probably one of the nicest eyeshadows I've ever had the freaking honor of using. Let me just give you guys a swatch of this. It is so soft. It's so pigmented. Look at this. Right? You can't, you can't, you, you can't. This just happened. One swipe. That is one swipe. It's like this peachy, metallic, uh, gold? Peachy gold? I don't know. I'm like looking at it and losing my train of thought. It is incredible. Favorite shadow in the palette, hands down, by far. And again, that was this guy right here. Amazing. I also have this guy on today, this really pretty matte orange. Orange. Let me give you guys a... I mean, look how pigmented they are. Out of control. I think the reason I love this palette so much is because it... Whoa. It has really good matte shades in it, but it also has a lot of, like, over here, not shimmery, but they're, like, the metallic, really, really pigmented, super bright shadows that you guys know I love for the inner part of my lid. That is just, like, my thing. So I'm going to swatch this guy right here. 
this little baby. Sorry, I was like all over the palette. This is another one that is so good. Like, look at that pigmentation. This one's a little bit more gold, whereas this one is more peach. But they are both just so beautiful. I have to take my watch off. I don't even know why I put that on in the first place. Let's swatch this one. This is another one that I have been loving. Oh my god, I have to get a wipe out, you guys. I totally forgot to do that. Oh, look at that. It's like a coppery taupey brown. It is beautiful. I love putting this shade in my crease. I know it's metallic, but I just think that that looks so pretty in the crease. Like these right here, just, oh, I can. It's so nice. Um, these matte shades, this is what I have in my crease, and you'll see that in the makeup tutorial. This is a really nice shadow. There's all different finishes. There's mattes, there's satins, there's really intense metallics. It's just a really good mix of everything. I feel like this is going to be the hot fall palette. I mean, it's freaking August, and I'm already rocking it because I could not contain myself. Let me wipe myself off and I'll swatch a couple more. Okay, I want to swatch this one. This is so pretty. Oh, they're so freaking soft, you guys. Mmm, you know what that looks like? That looks like one of the Makeup Geek foiled shadows. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like that really orange orangey one orangey one um okay what else do you guys want to see i wish you guys could just like tell me which one you want me to swatch let's swatch one of these browns i have this one on today it's like a kind of like an orangish brown it's a really really nice like satin finish isn't that cool it's soft but it still has that orange tone to it that's nice. You know what? Let's give this guy a go. This one's really pretty. Isn't that like a unique shade? I don't think I've worn this one yet. Oh, that's pretty. Again, it's like soft, but look at that finish. This is another shade right here that I think is pretty unique. It's like a peachy orange and it's matte. So you could put that in your crease just as like a transition shade. But look how pigmented that is. That is just good. Damn, Linda Morphe kills it. Like she is such a perfectionist and you can tell with her makeup, there's nothing bad to say. Like this palette, 100% perfection. Like I have no cons, nothing negative to say about it. So this is the 35-0, you guys, amazeballs. Okay, now getting into the 35-T. Now this one is a little bit more cool toned and it's more like purple, taupey, like berry shades. Isn't it gorgeous though? This is right up my alley. I mean all of these different tones of purple just make my heart so happy and there's all of these like metallic different tones of like coppers and soft browns so so pretty okay right away i'm like drawn to this one this one i haven't played with that much i did wear it one time i should probably wipe those off but i'm not going to oh god you guys that is so pretty i wish i could like have a camera on this and on me so i didn't have to keep picking it up but we're just gonna work with it i'm gonna swatch this guy this pretty satin soft purple i don't even know what to call it because it's like a taupey purple oh yeah that is good that is really good Ooh, i like this one too this one's like an olive oh not that one i mean i like that one too okay i guess i'll swatch this one i wanted the one right above it but that's okay let's give this little guy a go Ooh, that's nice that's really soft that would be pretty in the crease even though it's a satin I'm not afraid of putting like metallic shades in my crease. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but that's just me. This is the one that I wanted to swatch. This one's like a metallic olive green. Oh my God, that is pigmented. Right? <laughs> my kids are out there screaming and I don't even care. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, shut up. That is so pretty. Wait. Oh man, I love that. Right? Shouldn't this just be a tattoo? Ugh! 
I love it so much. This one is like a rose gold pinky. Do you see that? Isn't that like a weird shade? I love weird shades that aren't like in every palette that you see at Sephora. Whoa. Are you seeing that finish? I hope that's picking up. Wow, you guys. Wait, what just happened? That is the prettiest color. How would you even describe that? These two are killing my life. And still, this is still my favorite one. But these two, oh, my swatches just get bigger and bigger as I go down my arm. Wow, they are gorgeous. Look at the intensity in that. That kind of matches my nails. <gasps> what? That's exciting. Oh wait, I just saw another one that I really, really liked. I think it was this one in the middle. It's like a coppery, coppery brown. This guy right here. <sighs> you guys, I can't handle this. I mean, I don't even have to try to make the shadows look good. I mean, they just do it themselves. Like, I don't, I could just sit here and say nothing and just swatch them. Some people would probably enjoy that, but you guys know I got to talk. Look at that. Oh my God, I, I did love this palette. Like, I opened it up and I used it and I was like, this palette is really good. But now that I'm swatching the shades, this is even better than I originally thought it was. Oh, snappers. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this one down here. Now I'm on a roll, I just can't stop. Oof. I know, I'm seriously running out of room. But look at all these different tones. You have mattes, you have satins, you have metallics. It's just ugh, so good, so, so, so good. So I really hope that this video helped you guys to kind of see the difference between the two palettes. They are both absolutely incredible. I will pop swatches up for you guys at the end of every single shadow so that, like I said, you can take a screenshot. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will put my code down below for Morphe brushes. And yeah, let me know if you guys pick anything up. Let me know if you have some of these palettes. Which ones are your favorites? These two are probably my favorites. Let me show you the other one that I you know what, while I'm here, I'm just going to throw this in and show this to you guys. This is the 35D, like dog. This one is so pretty. I haven't used it yet. I got this right before I went to LA and I stuck it in my drawer and I just, I've been using the two that I've already showed you, but I got to do something with this. If you guys want a tutorial with this, let me know. Like look at all these purples and blues. Oh my God so pretty do i have a clean finger that i can swatch i don't even know that i do do i have room let's get one last little swatch oh yes Mm-hmm. that's good mm. okay so i could just do this all day like this just makes me such a happy girl playing with eyeshadow here have some of this i'm gonna swatch this guy right here over here because i'm officially out of room Jesus baby that is gorgeous you guys I have to do something with that right oh jeez I can't I'm my I'm having heart palpitations is anybody with me okay last one I'm going to swatch this little guy I don't think I swatched this one yet ready Freddy oh god these tones of purple are hurting hurting You guys, are you feeling feeling what I'm feeling right now? It's a it's a good feeling, but it's somewhat painful because I just I want to I want to hurt people right now. Okay, let me bust in a couple swatches of this. What was this? The 35D. I'm just gonna I'm gonna swatch like this this green one and this purple one. Are you guys even seeing what's happening? So green and purple. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. We're going to do them at the same time. Okay, here we go. Red. Red for Fred. Oh, baby. Yes. 
See, there's none that are not good. Oh, these would be pretty together. Oh yeah, look at that. That is good shadow. I'm just covered, but I don't even care. This is this is good. This is happiness. I'm in freaking heaven right now. Ugh. Okay, and I have to give you guys one final swatch. This like shimmery olive green is calling my name, as they all are. That shit's pigmentation city. Oh baby. And it has like gold shimmer in it. Oh. <sighs> Mm. Um, I'll put swatches in at the end for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you and I will see you all next time. Bye. today's video I'm just so like I'm so all over the place today for today's video we are going to be playing with these little morphe palettes well not little they're kind of big um morphe you guys know how I feel about morphe their brushes are pretty much all that I use on my face I have a couple Sigma brushes thrown in but the majority of my makeup brushes are morphe and I have a ton of them these palettes, the 35T and the 35O, are their two, I think they're the two most recent, and I feel like these are the hottest ones right now that everybody's talking about, everybody's using them, everyone's doing swatches. Um, I just got the 35O yesterday, oh, and the eye look that I have on right now is using the 35O. I did film this, so I will link it down below if you guys have not seen it. It should be up. I think I was gonna put the makeup first, and then this review second. Now I did put a picture on Instagram of these two palettes side by side, but you guys still wanted me to do a video like swatching them and just kind of talking about them, so that is why I am here. Now these larger palettes like this, whenever I used to see these, I would be so turned off because I just felt like they were, you, you can't, this just happened. One swipe, that is one swipe. It's like this peachy, metallic gold peachy gold I don't know I'm like looking at it and losing my train of thought it is incredible 
favorite shadow in the palette, hands down by far. And again, that was this guy right here. Amazing. I also have this guy on today, this really pretty matte orange. Orange. Let me give you guys a I mean, look how pigmented they are. Out of control. I think the reason I love this palette so much is because it, whoa, it has really good matte shades in it, but it also has a lot of, like, over here, not shimmery, but they're, like, the metallic, really, really pigmented, super bright shadows that you guys know I love for the inner part of my lid. That is just, like, my thing. So I'm going to swatch this guy right here this little baby. Sorry, I was like all over the palette. This is another one that is so good. Like, look at that pigmentation. This one's a little bit more gold, whereas this one is more peach. But they are both just so beautiful. I have to take my watch off. I don't even know why I put that on in the first place. Let's swatch this one. This is another one that I have been loving. Oh my god, I have to get a wipe out, you guys. I totally forgot to do that. Oh, look at that. It's like a coppery, taupey brown. It is beautiful. I love putting this shade in my crease. I know it's metallic, but I just think that that looks so pretty in the crease. Like these right here, just, oh, I can't. It's so nice. Um, these matte shades, this is what I have in my crease, and you'll see that in the makeup tutorial. This is a really nice shadow. There's all different finishes. There's mattes, there's satins, there's really intense metallics. It's just a really good mix of everything. I feel like this is going to be the hot fall palette. I mean, it's freaking August and I'm already rocking it because I could not contain myself. Let me wipe myself off and I'll swatch a couple more. Okay, I want to swatch this one. This is so pretty. Oh, they're so freaking soft, you guys. Mmm, you know what that looks like? That looks like one of the Makeup Geek foiled shadows. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like that really orange, orangey one. Never good quality. I had a couple from Coastal Scents, and no offense to Coastal Scents, like I think they're a great brand, but their larger palettes like this, they just weren't my favorite. So whenever I would see these, I was like, oh, nope, don't want it, they're not gonna be good. And then Morphe started doing them. I probably have seven or eight of these large palettes and every single one that I have from Morphe is just the best. Like they're pigmented, they blend really, really well. The colors are just, I can't, I can't, I cannot. So I'm gonna start with the 35-0, you guys. <sighs> right? It's so pretty. It's like the heavens have opened up. Now, I'm usually a cool eyeshadow girl. I like purples and taupes, but recently, I would say like the past month to two months, I've really been getting into warm, these like warm oranges and berries and pinks. I just think they look so pretty on. This eye look that I have on, it really is making me happy. I don't know if it's the tan with like the warm... I don't know what it is, but it's working for me. So this is what the palette looks like. This retails for $19.99, so basically 20 bucks. This is out of stock right now on Morphe's website. I know, I'm sorry, but it will be back in stock, so just keep an eye on Morphe's social media so that you guys know when it comes back in stock. And I have a Morphe code, it's YWP. You get 10% off. It is an affiliate code, so if you use it, I do get a commission, just so you guys know that. But this video is not sponsored. Um, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna swatch some of these for you and just kind of show you some of my favorites. Now, I'm not gonna swatch all of them, but at the end of the video, I will pop in a picture of every single shade swatched somewhere on my body so you guys can like just screenshot it or whatever you want to do with it so that you have it so first and foremost this shade right here this is what i have on my lid as soon as i opened this palette i was drawn to this color it is it is incredible like probably one of the nicest eyeshadows i've ever had the freaking honor of using. Let me just give you guys a swatch of this. It is so soft. It's so pigmented. Look at this. Right? You can't, you can't.